The Cape Town that most resonates with me, I always go back to childhood and I think about the Cape Flats and I think about Bokap and I think about Woodstock, you know, coming over the end to the Vala Drive, like then the ocean is on the side there. It's just always this wave of, of energy and it, it speaks to me. It always lets me know that that's, my heart is there. And that's why it hurts so much every time I have to leave. So I was the result of my dad actually being in exile. I was born in Canada and at the age of three, came to South Africa to live with my grandparents. And since then, I've been moving back and forth, back and forth. And so that kind of set the stage for the nomadic lifestyle. My dad was like very Pan-African and when I do braid hair, it's another way of kind of expressing like, yeah, styles, styles for, for Africa, you know? I do feel like I'm doing like a million things at once. So oftentimes I'm, I'm using my cell phone to jot things down in a taxi, even if it's in a hair salon, because there are just always ideas and always melodies and always beats that are going through my mind. Better and better, better and better. Yeah. 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 Creativity and talent isn't enough. Organizing your finances and organizing the business of it is also very important. You can be that artist if you can handle that. The moment that I step on stage, I'm always nervous. It's this really exhilarating moment and vulnerable moment of just being like, here it is. I hope you like it. To live better is to try to go beyond your limits, but at the same time, spend time with the people that you love and that mean a lot to you and that are, are good for you.